747 guys. Sergeant Fernandez, bed number 721. 721, appreciate you. So inside on that vehicle, that's okay. one of our vehicles um, okay. to the police department. So it's, yeah, but you still can't have special privilege. They need to mark it than police employees only or something. It's still the signage. I'm just going by your signage. Mm -hmm. It says state only. We can't make up our own rules. Right. There's Well, there's some vehicles that... Um, like that, like that, that one right there just pulled up, that little uh, RAV4 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's an officer, I believe, or maybe administration. I'm not sure. Maybe he's parking. I don't know. But he walked into the back of the station but he made sure to park you know where he's able to park but this one like i said it says state only and when i see that there's you know no state plates on it it concerns me because no i understand someone uh, might think like oh there's no maybe it's the weekend there's no parking control on on the weekend hey maybe they're gonna park here and get a ticket that they could have avoided welcome back you're here today with your boy anthony x and today i'm over in the monterey bay marina california about to conduct a first amendment audit of the California State University Monterey Bay Police Department. Let's see if they honor and respect my rights to take pictures and video in public and work on my story in peace. That being said, make sure to show support by following me on all my social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, baby. And definitely make sure to leave that comment and share this video. Oh yeah. And no bootlicking. Marina, California, Monterey Bay. Let's do this. All right, public use 82E. They are closed, as you can see. We're gonna go walk around the back, guys. All right, so it is Saturday about 5.30, guys. They are already closed. They're not even open on the weekend, but there's a bunch of vehicles in the back. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so we are over here at Cal State University. Monterey Bay, Marina, California. You can see it's very beautiful over here, guys, with all the cool trees. Um, the PD is already closed, but there's a bunch of vehicles in the back. I'm gonna go check them out, see what I can see. Um, it's about 52 degrees, a little overcast, as you can see, and a very slight breeze. I like it, I like it. Um, let's go check it out, though, guys. Uh, some of you may or may not know, um, I think it's like only 5% of the university itself. It might be more. But part of the university is actually the old Fort Ord uh, military base. So yeah, kind of cool little history on the property itself. Hopefully we don't step on a landmine or anything crazy. But yeah, this is a state university. It's open to the public. As long as we're not causing a ruckus or doing anything crazy or illegal, we have a right to peacefully walk around and take pictures. My back is getting a little stiff, guys. Um, on top of that, as I mentioned, um, you only can park for 30 minutes without getting a parking permit in advance. So um, yeah, I gotta make this a quick one, guys. Don't get too upset. Well, check that out, guys. Just to give you an idea of how big that is, that's pretty cool, some mushrooms there. I don't think I wanna eat it, though. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so you can see this is kind of like the back area. I would imagine like parking patrol and the PD. Let's cut through here. I don't think we're going to get a lot of action, guys, but if we can get at least one vehicle coming in or out, that'd be great. What do you think? This is a police officer's vehicle got the blue line gang symbol kind of hard to see with the reflection there
Now, guys, I really don't care about their personal vehicles. But here's the thing. If this was you or me driving around with this tent, they could use that easily for an excuse to pull us over and hem you up. But for some reason, it's okay when they do it. Unreal, guys. California State University, Monterey Bay. Police Department Parking Service. Make sure there's no contraband. Vehicle 126, 125, 125 and 126 need to be washed. This looks like the back of the PD, guys. California State University, Monterey Bay, University Police Department, Emergency Management, Health and Safety. Well, make sure there's no contraband. Police only. So I'm guessing these belong to police officers. Now, here's the thing. It says state vehicle parking. No permit parking allowed. State vehicle parking. I get it. They're charging their car. But does that mean these cars belong to the state? All right. My bad. My bad. This one does. However, this vehicle right here, there's no California exempt plates. I doubt that it belongs to the state, but yet they're getting us special privileges. Uh, doesn't seem fair, guys, does it? Like, that's pretty clear. State vehicle parking only. Well, here we go. Monterey State Police. No contraband. Good job, good job. We got an unmarked unit. Let's get the plate there. You can see they got all the lights up in the top there. All right, guys, I hope there's nothing confidential on there. All right. And one thing we're looking for, guys, when we see these vehicles is no blue line gang flags. These are not personal vehicles. These are tax paid employee vehicles and we want to make sure they're uh, maintained properly. There should only be, you know, proper logos, you know, like this right here or a regular USA flag. All right, so you see the difference here, guys. State vehicle parking only. We got a state police for the university state police. But what's that car doing over there? Hmm. No public entrance. Let's see if he goes in over there. Hey, since you're going in there, if you could do me a favor, let someone know there's a car parked illegally right over here. Since you're going in there, if you could do me a favor, once you're on the clock, if you could let me know there's a car parked illegally right here. Yeah, it says uh, state vehicle parking only. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Hey, I got a couple questions for you. That's why I was waiting for you to get out. I don't want to startle you there. Oh, okay, no worries. Um, you got a second? Yeah, what's up? I was just wondering, just uh, is this vehicle, I was wondering, since I saw you kind of cruising around, uh, you know, monitoring the parking, mm -hmm. can we give this guy a ticket right here? Because this says state parking only. 
Right. And he's parked. It's not state. It's not a California exempt. So I can. If you could, even if you want to do a warning, I'm fine with that. But if you could do some kind of like written warning so it's documented, I'd like to have an incident number if possible. I can give you a little insight on that vehicle. That's okay. one of our vehicles um, okay. to the police department. So it's, yeah, but you still can't have special privilege. They need to mark it than police employees only or something. It's still the signage. I'm just going by your signage. Mm -hmm. It says state only. We can't make up our own rules. Right. There's well, there's some vehicles that. Um, like that, like that, that one right there just pulled up that little uh, RAV4 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's an officer, I believe, or maybe administration. I'm not sure. Maybe he's parking. I don't know. But he walked into the back of the station. But he made sure to park, you know, where he's able to park. But this one, like I said, it says state only. And when I see that, there's, you know, no state plates on it. It concerns me because, you know, we got to lead by example. What if someone's walking through here? Right. It can be misleading. No, I understand. Someone might uh, think like, oh, there's no, maybe it's the weekend. There's no parking control on, on the weekend. Hey, maybe they're going to park here and get a ticket that they could have avoided, you know, in that nature. Or like I said, simply just put a sign like, hey, police employee only. I know you guys need a place to park. Right. On there, no problem with that. It's just a matter of, you know, like, hey, let's, we're going to put up signage. You know, let's follow those rules. Right. Let me, you know, I'll that's just my opinion. I know. Let me grab a map real quick. I'll be right back. Perfect. Yeah. But right here, this is um, available to the public. It's okay. online. Um it's you know there's different maps around campus right it just basically shows uh right over here here's where we are in that little spot how okay. that's open parking cool the yellow slashes just mean you can't yeah park right, that's what i kind of figured i didn't check the signage in detail and depth in the front right. i was just wondering since every other space has a sign but these ones didn't have signage i was a little like hey like what's going on yeah and like i said that wasn't my main concern my main concern was this other vehicle that's actually parked where it says state vehicles only you know, but it's not a state vehicle. There's no cal. I'm assuming it's not, unless it's an undercover vehicle. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so okay, to park there. okay. So, yeah. Well, it's technically not okay. That's what I'm saying. We need to get a signage that says, "Hey, police, staff only." You know what I mean? Okay. And can I get your name and badge for the record, so I know who I spoke with? I'm parking officer Fournier. I don't have a badge number because I don't. Okay. Have no that. employee number or like a. No. Nothing no. like that or Lincoln Five, Lincoln Four, none of that, like the sheriffs do. Uh, my call sign is Seven Paul Four. Seven Paul Four. E Four. If you were to write Okay. It out. But that's it. And does that number, I'm just curious, I know with the sheriff's department, they change from time to time. Does that, is that something that's dedicated just to you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Have a safe night. No problem. You too. Take care. Yeah. And yeah, do me a favor though. Like, you know, like I said, just bring it up if they could put a, a sign there or something. Okay. All right, guys, I didn't want to be an ass or anything. I understand they need parking for their staff here. But, you know, if we have to follow the rules and we have to park super far away, we have to get Ubers and whatnot, you know, I think they need to follow the rules too, especially since they're state employees. You know, if this was a private business, I understand, do what you gotta do, park where you need to park. But this is a, you know, a, a facility paid by our taxes. They have rules that we have to follow. I expect them to follow it. All right, guys, we got one coming in. Seven four seven guys. How's it going, brother? How's it going? Staying safe out there? Day, man. All right, brother, right. I'm trying, I'm trying. Same thing. I like the weather, man. I like it when it's nice and cool. Yeah, weather's good, right? Definitely. Good day. You too. Take care. We got vehicle 768. Hello. Their computer's off. Good job. If not, don't worry about it. You can just say your name and badge. I'm uh, Sergeant Fernandez, badge number 721. 721, appreciate you. Yeah, I was just talking, I had just got done, um, you might hear about it in there, I just got done having a cordial conversation with uh, your parking staff, and mm -hmm. one of my concerns here, I was just kind of out checking, you know, enforcement here and everything, mm -hmm. and 
and it's not a big deal. So actually, I believe it's one of your uh, your staff cars. But on the other side, this is where that car is charging. You got a gray vehicle that says state employee parking. I mean, sorry, state vehicle parking only. Okay. And so if you could just do me a favor and maybe put employees only or if we can get something that says, you know, police personnel or something, because it says state only, just like all these mm -hmm. up here. And it says no permit. So I, I just want to keep everything. If someone was driving by like myself, so I don't have to go and get an Uber. If I see a vehicle like that park, makes me wonder like, hey, maybe you're allowed to park here on the weekend or something. There's no enforcement. But then I end up getting a ticket or get towed or, you know, so, you know, it's just a lead by example. It's not a big deal. I know you guys need to park, you know, on there. You know, I know the code enforcement knows who it is. But just, you know, when we're walking by, it just looks bad, you know, on there. If you know, if you know which vehicle I'm talking about, it's the gray one with tinted windows there. Uh, like I said, if we could just put a sign, man, or something, you know, I'd appreciate it. Sure. I'll, I'll bring it up, but uh, that's actually... It is a well. Is it? Is it? So it's an undercover. So I can't. Give okay. Well, no. Because no. The reason I'm asking, like, I. Okay. All right. That's good to know then. If you give me a minute, I'll go give you my card. Okay. Perfect. Appreciate you. All right, my man. Thank yeah, you, I, pre man. I appreciate you being a professional and cordial. Yeah, sure. Appreciate course, you. Man. Have a good day. Yeah, you got you it. No, I do have one other question. I noticed in front of your PD. Like if I had an emergency, like I was visiting, I didn't see any visitor parking. It says still permit. Do you did I did I miss it or do you have like let's say I had an emergency? So, so and I, there is a visitor parking and it's off the street. It's okay. Further up. Further up. Cause that seems kind of far away to go down the street. If I had an emergency, I would I would hate to get a ticket while I'm trying to report someone committing a crime. It. I get it. But it's, <laughs> it has nothing to do with being yeah. an officer or as a sergeant or anything. You know, maybe next time you guys have your meetings, like at least yeah. be maybe you could say like 15 minute parking for emergency only or something or. You're right. Just yeah, something, because I, th I thought that was kind of odd when I was walking around the building, like no parking. Right, for me. so this is what I'm talking about. We got a university police, and don't get me wrong, if there's a true emergency, call 911, guys. However, and I think they have those like uh, university phones scattered throughout. Um, but here's the thing they got parking information where you can buy permits. But where is this loading zone? Where's the parking? If you just want to come in, you have some official police business. You shouldn't have to get a permit or walk all the way down the street just to come over and visit the PD. I know he says they wouldn't give you a ticket, but you shouldn't even have to worry about it, guys. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Stay safe. All right. Bye now. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Cal State University, Monterey Bay, Marina, California, Police Department. Um, I'm going to give them a thumbs up. Honestly, you don't get that too often. Great job. Um, like I said, the gentleman over there was very cordial. He didn't try to harass me. The parking enforcement took the time out of his schedule to answer some questions. So did the sergeant. Great job. That's how they should be. You know, we are paying for them out of our taxes. Let's make sure they you know, treat us with dignity and respect. That being said, thanks for checking it out. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. No bootlicking. Monterey Bay, Marina, California. Out of here, guys. Peace.